One. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out November 6, 2018. Now, I just want you to see this. There's a reason why I'm showing you this story. Now, when it comes down to people in our community going into criminal court, these folks show up by the hundreds trying to get onto the jury, right? <laughs> they come in by the hundreds trying to get onto the jury. But El Chapo is now going to trial and these same people that be diving to get on ju juries for us, right? They are running for the hills and they don't want to be on the jury for El Chapo. <laughs> they can't find people to be on the jury, y'all. But these same people, if we were going to trial, they'd be showing up by the hundreds or even the thousands <laughs> to be on the jury. <laughs> Woo, these people are hypocrites, man. So this came out on CBS Morning, November 6, 2018. Potential jurors in trial of drug lord El Chapo said they feared for their lives if selected. So they are all trying to get out of it, y'all. <laughs> They're all trying to get out of it. Jury selection resumes Tuesday in the trial of the infamous Mexican drug lord Joaquin Guzman, known as El Chapo, a federal judge in New York, dismissed 17 potential jurors Monday, some of whom said they feared for their lives if selected. My, 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 how people change. Guzman is believed to have led uh, Sinaloma, uh, Sinaloma, uh, cartel for decades as it became the largest drug trafficking organization in the world. U.S. prosecutors say he oversaw hundreds of murders, kidnappings, and other violent acts. Guzman slept in a cell Monday night inside a highly secure federal courthouse in Brooklyn, which is now a virtual fortress. He was brought into court Monday wearing a suit and a suit with a wide collar, but no cuffs, as he faced the men and women who would ultimately decide his fate, reports CBS News' Nikki Battisti. From the moment he set foot on U.S. soil, Guzman has seemingly been surrounded by federal agents wherever he goes. Jurors will get a taste of that if they're selected for his trial. U.S. Marshals will escort them to and from the courthouse every day for their own safety. CBS legal analyst Ricky Kleiman said the names of Guzman jurors are being kept secret to foil any hit men and prevent bribes. These jurors are going to be protected in a way that is highly unusual, Kleeman said. No one will know their names. They won't know their addresses, their occupation. This will not become information for the public or certainly not for the Sinaloa cartel. On Monday, a potential juror was dismissed after she told the judge, what scares me is that Guzman family will come after jurors and their families. Another said, I'm nervous. Others were asked if they had watched popular Netflix uh, shows about drug trafficking like El Chapo. A woman who watched Narcos was dismissed. Guzman's lawyer say the increased security measures create an unfair impression. He is a violent man. He has pleaded not guilty to 17 counts of drug smuggling and money laundering. He's a mythical figure at this point. And if you read the books, the many books that have been written about him, even by the agents in the case, 
They even discuss it. They don't know what was real and what wasn't real, says Guzman attorney. Jeffrey Lichman. Guzman famously escaped from Mexican prisons twice. And that's because you know why, ladies and gentlemen, he owned all of the prisons in Mexico. The ones that he escaped from, he owned. <laughs> Go figure, right? Once in 2015, by riding a motorcycle through a mile long tunnel, he was recaptured six months later, then extradited to the US to prevent Guzman from escaping again. Marshals have even shut down parts of the Brooklyn Bridge so he can be moved from his Manhattan cell for all his pretrial hearings. No one wants to take the chance that something out of a Mission Impossible movie happens where suddenly a helicopter comes down and people come out of the water and the next thing we know is El Chapo is gone. That is not going to happen during this trial, Kleeman said. Jurors will be partially sequestered for what's expected to be a four month long trial. There were also some moments of levity during Monday's jury selection. One man said he was a professional Michael Jackson impersonator and another admitted to eating a sandwich called El Chapo, which he said was delicious. Okay, so there you go. People are running from the, you know, for the hills, ladies and gentlemen, and they fear that El Chapo's hitmen will come and slaughter them, execute them for being on the jury. You see the difference for us? They show up by the hundreds trying to get on the jury. And for him, they run. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.